this is uh, kubernetes and you can log in with the two options one is github another one is docker so i'm going with the docker docker login i'm already logged in that's why i'm i get uh, that start so again, it is giving four hours access to my instances. How many instances you want to create, that is your choice. So when you click this create uh, instance, you will get just like in uh, play with Docker, you will get this one. And what you need to do, you have to initiate that Kubernetes cluster using the cube ADM. Okay. So you select this one and control insert and shift insert. So this is going to launch my Kubernetes master. So then I am going to start some instances that will be my slave nodes. I'm creating two nodes and uh, yeah. So once that Kubernetes master is ready, um, I'm going to get this set up. Um, warning system verification this docker version is not on the list it's a warning i think still it has to come it is trying to pull some qbdm configuration image images once we get that one this master will be ready so I have created three nodes and every node, whenever I launched, I got the same information what I need to run. Okay. So initialization of the cluster, uh, after that one, I need to run this network setup. Okay. This one I have to run in the master. So master still, I didn't get the prompt back. Uh, that depends on the network internet speed also so this is internally using the docker containers so you can use container d you can use rocket It's not running circle, so I'm moving circle. Okay, so the icon changes automatically when it becomes master. The other, so these are just like any Linux missions now. So once this uh, master is ready, I can connect, I can join these uh, nodes into that. Okay, I'll close and so ready is the speed and this. Okay, any questions in between if I could take? Okay, done. So configuration, once that uh, Kubernetes master is ready, then we have to use this uh, join command. Okay. So the join command is here. Just like in Swarm, we are having the Swarm join. Uh, in Kubernetes, we are going to have Kubernetes join. Okay. I'm just copying this line and the single line is present. I am copying to the second node and uh, then this icon will change once this launch is complete and it is also installed the kubelet in this machine and then yeah you can see that so master is in blue color and slave is in uh, white color and if it is not installed not joined then this will be like this okay yeah i'll show that um, cube ctl get nodes the same command was with the docker docker get node docker <laughs> what was the command i forgot <laughs> okay so here you can see uh, not ready okay so when it will be ready means when you have installed the network 
um, the network this is the network command second one is a network command okay this one apply control insert go to the master uh, not found it's already there okay cubes cdl cube cdl get nodes okay it is still showing not ready uh, the version you can see how much time it is taking and the master node is always control plane and it is named two roles are there yeah uh, maybe it is taking some time to launch Oh, YAML. Okay. So now network is ready, then it should work. Taking time. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so in the meantime, what we can do, we can check the versions, how it works and where it can be, okay. So kubectl is a one uh, command line interface, which is going to have version. Um, you can simply say kubelet kubectl version, and it is giving everything in the single block. So you can use hyphen wo and uh, YAML format output in the yaml file format it is better to read better format okay so just give hyphen o and yaml uh, that is gives the information about the kubectl as i mentioned everything is built with the go language and you can see it is built with the uh, it is given that git version when it is pushed and uh, what is the platform it is used linux platform go language 1.1 one five that is a go version okay so all the information is there just like that you can also check um, cube uh, adm version so this is also coming into one single block then you can also use iphone o and uh, yaml yaml this is also uses the go language go version right so like that you can uh, have information get the output format so if you want to join uh, the third node so kubedm join this is a command uh, which we can use generally what you have used in the second node i'm using in the third node done okay cube serial get you know so eno means nodes okay so nodes it is giving the information first two nodes are in ready condition node one is a master node two is a slave okay so this way you can add nodes you can see the status nodes um, so we have talked more about the pods so whenever you want to get some object information you have to use the get option so there are a lot of options a uh, lot of objects are there you can just simply say uh, kubelet uh, sorry kubectl get and uh, what are the options are you can see all the options are there many options are there many examples also given in this and you can see how we can see the parts so listing all parts you can use this command you can simply say here yeah. so there is no no parts running in this one and if you say kubectl get um, replica sets 
okay there is no replica sets are running okay and then same thing you can use for the deployments so i don't have any deployments in the current uh, namespace so it is always saying default namespace what is this namespace namespaces so do you have any namespace yes there are four namespaces in kubernetes whenever your kubernetes cluster is created you got four namespaces out of that one default is a namespace where you are looking into always our kubernetes when cube cuttle command runs it is always looks for inside this default default namespace okay how can i create a part is there any command that i can do kubectl run and you can give the name so let's say c1 i can say or let's say okay p1 and then iphone iphone name okay sorry image equal to n g i n x the pod is created okay so this way we can create it's very simple the image uh, if you compare docker container and this container how much speed container first pull from the docker hub and then it will do so that pulling and doing that is fastest compare with the docker okay and you can see kubectl get pods and every every uh, kubernetes object is having some shortcuts for uh, this pods you can simply say here po it will works a little bit slow in the network maybe yeah so container is creating it's taking time to create this one so it is giving the information it is already created pod is created at any point of time uh, when you create directly a pod you cannot increase scale but when you go for the replica set when you go for the deployment stateful set that time you can scale up scale down remember that point pod is single unit single unit of kubernetes cluster okay single unit cannot be increased or decreased all right uh, that is how we can use the kubernetes commands and uh, can create the cluster anytime you can see the kubernetes nodes no nodes no means nodes all are in ready state it's a basic building block of kubernetes without pod there is no kubernetes cluster okay so hope you understood what is kubernetes if you like my session you can commit by contacting shailaj 9618715457 jai hind